Their, their, their lifeless bodies weren't doing anything, and now they're working for God. <laughs> yes, I, I, I don't mind. I, I, I used it for good. You <laughs> want brains? Sorry. Fries with that. <laughs> yes, why not? Okay, right. This guy's zero, and I'm feeling a bit affronted, so he's moving there. Uh, I have these two guys here. I can cast both of them. I don't think this one is much help at this point, but he's really fast to start off with, which works well for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cast this guy. I'm going to chuck him there, which means these two will attack and hopefully will do a bit of damage. And I'm not feeling inspired by this one, so let's go and get two cards from this and see what we can get. And nothing I'm really impressed with, but on the thinking about it some more uh, I think yes let's use this so we use that one and we're going to tick over that guy and reduce his count down to zero there. and with that end my turn so yes finally a totem has fallen I was starting to wonder uh, now I've got I've got another card that I really like, but I I need to put more creatures down. So, and my plan didn't quite go to plan. I knew you were about to uh, kill that creature, but I thought it was it was going to take both your units. I hadn't noticed, quite paid enough attention to see that he was on four, uh, four attack there. So yeah, so the husk got summoned, then immediately destroyed. Um, which is a shame, but oh well. Yeah, it happens from time to time. So, look. Yes. But there's no one particular unit that I know I want to take out, so I'm going to sacrifice this. It, it, by the way, it was Brain Lice. I, I'm not sure if the, uh, your, your, your audience have seen Brain Lice yet, but it's, it's, a, it's a little curse of mine that poisons the unit and does damage each turn. Knowing you, they will soon enough. Hmm. Oh, that. Oh, I've not got a lot of time, so I'm just going to cast that on that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry you okay, didn't have right. enough time to um, see that card. It was Blood and Bile, and I didn't have enough time to fully read what it does. I I believe it was uh, another cursing card. Okay, I'm going to cast this one for very obvious reasons. It's going to use up all of my order, but I think it is well and truly worth it. So, there we go. All my totems are healed, and I get one more point of order next turn. And I get two new cards, and one of them is this guy here. I may as well cast him, hadn't I? So he's going to go onto the field. Where is he going to go? He's going to go onto the field there, I think. And I've got two more cards here I can't cast. Um, I don't particularly like that one at this point, so I'm going to get rid of that and replace it with two cards, which gives me a bit more to play next turn with that. I end. Now this is a rarity for me. Um, that, uh, like, apart from like the first time I used Life Stealer, um, which helped me win the game, uh, he, he normally gets killed before he gets to actually he uh, heal himself. But in in this, ah, I've got another Bloodline Taint. Oh, target unit and all other units on the same side that share the subtype get curse one so how many humans have you got human soldier human knight they're pretty much all humans aren't they yeah so that, that, all human, that's a yes. very good card for me to play uh, to... <laughs> no i think it's an utterly <laughs> terrible card i think it would be really wrong of you to play that card yeah. sorry simon <laughs> <laughs> Um, I do, I do like the Corpus Collector, but whether, whether she's actually going to get to do anything or not is highly unlikely. She's, 
probably just going to be a sacrifice, as is this tribesman. But apparently, according to his flavor text, he's very loyal, and so he'll be happily. Yeah, and it's showing fighting for that kin, him. alive or dead. Apparently. Oh, and uh, I just like a count down. Oh, So, all of your units are cursed. All the units, yes. However, I think I will counter that first of all by casting Have this you got spell. a spell that removes curses? Okay, um, no, I don't have a spell that removes curses, but um, what I can do is cast um, this spell, which gives me, if I pick a spell, which I will pick that spell, gives all my guys plus one, which means I should be able to nibble through the rank and do some damage there at the end of this turn. Um, I've got, still, I've got six more, so I can actually cast two of these, and this is a new spell I don't think uh, people have seen before. Two targets switch countdown values, and I think I will save that I will not use that I will use these guns instead now now I'm wishing I move my witch okay, up so one hatch but oh well cast that one and I shall cast this one and I shall put them there and with that I <laughs> oh uh, at least I get to keep that oh no I don't <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> ah. This is uh this is this is I think this game is just going to show that I'm not a, a, a master tactician. So. Well, I think anyone who's actually watched one of my videos knows that now that I, so we're in good I've company. I've now got so. the good other company. uneasy alliance card um which next turn I will be sacrificing. <laughs> uh hmm. No creature guards. Uh, interesting. Oh dear, what a sh pity. Right. But I can curse some things. Probably not the two I should have cursed. I should, probably should have just cursed your front two, but... There we go, that's that done. Okay, so back to my turn. I got a new guy. Uh, well, actually, it's a new spell. Just show that to everyone quickly. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by casting that. So that's increased my maximum mana at the cost of um, yeah, seven order at the moment. I don't like that one. I can still sacrifice it. I'll sacrifice it for mana. That gives me three to play with. And I'm wondering if I can use this on anything interesting. And I think the answer to that is actually yes. I'm going to cast this and I'm going to swap over them like that. Is that? And my turn. Okay. Right, just for people who didn't notice there, what I did was like my big guy at the front here, I got swapped with the, the attack with this little guy at the back here, so that he attacked immediately and did six points of damage, and now that uh, um, totem now is looking a bit vulnerable. Hmm. Uh, just notice we've actually been playing this for 50 minutes now. We are definitely <laughs> doing this as two episodes. Yeah, possibly um, three. The, 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 this is <laughs> potentially seven. This is becoming a, a more fraught battle than our than our little test run. <laughs> yes, which wasn't really a battle, more of a slaughter. It, it just goes to show picking the right deck <laughs> make all the difference. Yes. All right, so there we go. Uh, taught is much. I finally got to Dominion. Then. <laughs> okay, so um, 
got to think about what needs to do here. Um, that totem is fairly sorted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that guy there. I'm going to move these guys. I'm going to move that guy there. And what should I do? I Actually, I'm going to move that guy there. Move that guy. Can't move. Um, because of curse? Yes. Uh, yes, move retreat decreased by one. So he, he's she's stuck there. Never mind. That's not the end of the world. Um, so I'm going to move them there like that. And I've got 11 points of energy now to spend. So five. That, I can that is a ridiculous a amount of energy. <laughs> Might as well just go ahead and do the lots. Switch two units you control, draw one scroll, I will do that. Um, so I shall switch this guy and this guy, I think. There we go. And I shall... Oh! Aren't I oh. bitch? That one pushes it, pushes, it uh, takes a, an opponent and pushes it back into the caster's hand. Now, Thor still has that card. And he can cast it again. And because I was too busy talking, I missed a chance to cast a load of other things. But never mind. It's kind of interesting you've done that. It doesn't that, matter. Because what I was about to say about this deck is, apart from the life stealer, mm -hmm. um, one of the disadvantages this deck has is that it can't heal itself. Um, oh. Now. I definitely need to defend that totem because that will go next round otherwise. So obviously I'm going to have to put her there. It, there. There's no two ways about that. That is what I have to do. I'll sacrifice Fair that enough. card because I was going to anyway. Um, which was the uneasy alliance, by the way. Um, but yeah, she's all my energy at the moment. So that's it. But at least I know I'm going to take this totem. However, I don't like how exposed my, my flesh seamstress is. Oh, crap. And I just accidentally moved her. Well, ah, oh, I was just trying to show them the card. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I wish I could allow you to take that back. I wish there was a way I could allow you to take that you are back. Na you are now, you are now uh, going to win. Yeah. Yeah. I'm now going to win. <laughs> um, so, such is the way. As well just such is the way. <laughs> such is the way it happens occasionally, yeah. Well, a very good match, sir. A very good match. I shall give you five stars out of five. Of all the people <laughs> I've fought, you, you're the that best was, one. That was one of, one of the more entertaining matches I've had. Um, it, it, it was, I, I like the way it wasn't completely one-sided. Like, you, you, you did get a unit advantage, and as I've said, anybody that does get a unit advantage does tend to win. But I did manage to claw it back here and there. I um, might... I might, if I hadn't have made oh, that did. massive derp right at the end, I might have been able to hold on longer. <laughs> a little bit longer, yeah. I mean, yeah. you had two of my totems, but the the, the, the three I had remaining mm. were very well defended. So, yeah, it was. It, I, I think I would have probably won, but that was a very good fight. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I Me enjoyed too. It. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Um, this has been Scrolls. Uh, I not planning on playing much of this this has just been a special but if you liked it please give us a shout out and we will probably play some more uh so uh thank you very much tor it's been excellent playing with you it's been very fun playing with you my good sir right, well i've been simon parsons this has been scrolls by the people who made minecraft thank you and good night